Hi, my name is Andrew Jacobs, and I'm going to show you how to position a bird for x-rays. I'm going to show you how to do two separate views. The first one I'm going to show you is a ventrodorsal view, or a VD view. I'm going to use a dead crow for this so that I can not have to worry about the bird being sedated or anesthetized. Uh, this is an acrylic board uh, for positioning uh, this bird. I'm going to put the he bird's head in this position here. And then I'm going to put our little syringe in there just to kind of hold it still so we can't get out of that spot there. I'm going to attach these ropes to his feet. And then I'm going to just cinch them up and just kind of pull them, not too tight. You don't want to stretch the bird out, but you want to hold it in a position that opens up and exposes all of the body to the x-ray. If this was a bird of prey, we would normally wrap these claws, the talons, in vet wrap. Okay, so we're good there. So if I was going to take a VD x-ray, I would adjust my collimation, which is actually pretty good if I'm not going to do the wings. I'm going to turn the light off really quick so you can see how that's set up. Okay, And I could either A, hold the wings out and take a picture, or I could tape the wings down, obviously, hopefully, the bird would be sedated or under anesthesia, just like that, and try to get the wings to kind of match, kind of, sort of, there we go, all right, I get my marker into a place, and since there's feathers here, I can still put the marker here, because they're not really going to be messed up. Uh, by having that marker underneath it. So I could do it like that, or if we were going to take a lower one of the feet, I can move the marker around, but I would probably put the marker there for an x-ray. Um, so that would be my VD view. Um, I would adjust the KVP and MAS accordingly. And if I was going to do a lateral view, I would have to position the bird a little differently. Obviously, take on the wings. bird rotated this way. If it was a live bird, you'd really make sure that you have the head following the body. The wings would be pulled upward, and the feet could either be pulled in this position to expose the abdomen, but if you want to have a diagnostic x-ray of the legs, you would probably either spread them apart like so, or I could even detach one completely and pull one lower, like so, while the other one is pulled caudally, like so. Okay, just like that. Okay. Um, I could also, if I don't want to be in the beam, I could tape the wings down, but because you don't want to hyperextend the wing, you have to kind of make a loose loop over the wing, like so, so that you're not actually like pinning them to each other. Right? You'd be like that tape is not cooperating. There we go. And then I could either, oh, I put my syringe in. And I could either pull them ventrally and caudally, or I could pull them back both like this. I just attach them to our little attachment like so, and make sure that I'm collimated, and take my shot. Cool, not the best, but it looks good. All right, thanks.